Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov slash apod. And today's picture for July 10th of 2022, well, it is titled in the center of the cat's eye nebula. So what do we see here? Well, this is the Cat's Eye Nebula, known as NGC 6543, and it is an example of a planetary nebula, and a very complex one at that. There are other planetary nebulae which show different structures. And in fact, the well-known Rig Nebula almost looks like a bubble spreading out from a central star. A planetary nebula is what happens at the end of the life of a star much like our own sun and the outer layers are expelled out into space and the core is left behind as a white dwarf a compact remnant about the mass of our sun but about the size of earth. And that's what happens when you compress atoms as close together as they can possibly be until the repulsion of their electrons provides a pressure to hold the star up against gravity. Now here we see a very complex one and not just a very simple one where it looks like there are multiple layers. So one of the ideas is that could this be part of a binary system where the white dwarf star that we see at the center here is actually orbiting with another star. And could that cause all of these different expulsions that we see and different layers that we see in terms of the nebula. So that's one of the thoughts because it is so complex that perhaps our sun will not end up looking something like this, but will look more like just a single ring around it in the distant future when the sun reaches this kind of phase. But we have a little while before that happens. It's going to take another five to six billion years before the sun gets to this phase and expend, expels its outer layers out into space and in the same method that we see here and leaves behind a central core, a white dwarf star, which still has most of the mass of the sun, but is very compact, has been pushed down to the size of Earth. So astronomers study many different types of planetary nebulae to understand the try to better understand the process by which these objects form. They consist of only a very short period of life of a star. So for a star like our own sun, it might spend 10 billion years as its normal life as it is right now. And it may take another billion to evolve and go through the giant phases before it reaches the planetary nebula phase. But by the time we get here, we're talking only tens of thousands of years. So while that seems like a long time, tens of thousands of years compared to 10 to 11 billion years is a very short phase in the life of this type of star. So that was our picture of the day for July 10th of 2022. It was titled In the Center of the Cat's Eye Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Sahara Andromeda. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class. <laughs>